with the Minister of Works and Public Asset. The Ministry of Works and Public Assets, as part of its mandate, develops appropriate policies and programs for the improvement of public infrastructure, including housing, construction and maintenance of government buildings, provides, and also provides oversight for the Sierra Leone Roads Authority, amongst others. There's a lot happening, especially in the area of public infrastructure as it relates to road construction. Minister of Works and Public Assets Bayuku Conte will be updating the press on the progress of road construction across the country, as well as other key developments in his ministry. The Minister of Works will have the podium. Thank you very much, um, Mr. Chairman, colleague ministers of government, members of the Fourth Estate, fellow Sierra Leoneans. Let me use this opportunity to inform you about some of the road works that our government, under the leadership of His Excellency, the President, Brigadier Retired Julius Madabio, is embarking on. I start with the donor-funded projects. One, Lincoln Wing University Regent Road, funded by China Aid and Government of Sierra Leone, will be completed this March 2021. The outstanding payment by Government of Sierra Leone as counterpart funding is seven billion two hundred and seventy-three million. 397,593 leons, uh, 93 leons, 24 cents for the rehab, relocation of utility service lines. Two, rehabilitation and construction of second phase of Hillside Bypass Road, funded by Create Fund and Government of Sierra Leone, will be completed in December 2021. Compensation payments by Government of Sierra Leone to property, property affected persons, PAPs, of 1,337,448,359,25 is almost completely paid. Three. Rehabilitation and construction of the Lomley Toke Road, 21 kilometers, funded by Create Fund, OFID, Abu Dhabi, and Government of Sierra Leone, will be completed this year, 2021. 5,682,339,233 Leon's 32 cents was evaluated as compensation by government of Sierra Leone to various parts. 2,610,705,000 have been paid and an outstanding balance of 3,071,634,233 Leon's is yet to be paid as at February 20, 2021 to pass. Four, rehabilitation and construction of Pendembu Kailahun Road, 28 kilometers, funded by Islamic Development Bank and Government of Sierra Leone, with an outstanding compensation payment of 500 million leons to pass. Five, Rehabilitation and construction of Moyamba, Moyamba Junction Road, 36 kilometers, including four major bridges funded by the EU and government of Sierra Leone. Seven billion eight hundred million was paid as compensation by government of Sierra Leone to various parts since June 2020. Six, rehabilitation of Bo Bandajuma Road, 46 kilometers, funded by the African Development Bank and Government of Sierra Leone, with an outstanding compensation payment by Government of Sierra Leone of 
no, 904 leons, 4 cents to PAPS. Seven, rehabilitation and construction of Bandajuma Manor River Union Bridge, 105 kilometers, funded by the EU and government of Sierra Leone. 4 billion, 309 million, 798,636 leons, 50 cents was evaluated as compensation by government of Sierra Leone to various parts. Two billion have been paid and an outstanding balance of two billion, 309 million, 798,636 leones, 50 cents is yet to be paid as at February 2021. Eight, the rehabilitation of the Wellington Mashaika Highway, funded by CRSG. Initial cost of the project was US dollars 161,220,000, but was renegotiated in 2015 to US dollars 153 million. 550,000 with 27 years concession agreement. This project also includes the construction of three major markets in Mashaka, Waterloo, and Hastings. So far for the roads that will be completed this year. Now, two very important roads, namely the Kailahun Koinu Road to be funded by the African Development Bank and the Tikonko Matru John Road to be funded by the Arab Bank for African Economic Development will start by the end of this year. We have the Quick Economic Recovery Project. The regravering of 1,740 kilometers of trunk roads nationwide contracted into 40 lots to local contractors. This is a quick economic recovery project that is expected to last only for six months. The purpose of this project is to ensure easy access to markets and other facilities, access to raw materials or produce, create such short-term employment for youths, etc. The total cost of this project is 319 billion, 203 million, 668 million, 55 leons, 49 cents. The first tranche payment of 30% advance we are made in October 2020, which is equivalent to 95 billion. 95 billion 761 million 160,416 leons 65 cents. Some companies are not doing well, like Uplink Construction and Civil Engineering, that is doing the Tondola Malema Road, 39 kilometers, has done. 0.6 kilometers of clearing works only. Beijing Construction and General Services doing the Bawea Junction, Benducha Road, 68 kilometers, have done only 8.5 kilometers of clearing works. Maria Jal Investment Company, Sierra Leone Limited, that is doing the Cambria Kukuna Medina Road, 38 kilometers have done approximately 5.3 kilometers of clearing works. P7 company, Sierra Leone Limited, that is doing Mukabanda Shenge Road, 49 kilometers, have done approximately two kilometers of clearing works. 
we have the Memorandum of Understanding Trunk City and Township Roads. We signed Memorandum of Understanding with road contractors for road works in Freetown, Waterloo, Kenema, Moyamba, Bo, Pujau, Matujon, and Bond Island. Contractors have mobilized, works are ongoing, and their 30% advance payments have been made by government of Sierra Leone, whilst some compensation payments to PAPS are yet to be paid. The transformation of 13 cable ferry crossings to modern bridges. The ministry, in collaboration with SLRA, World Bank, and EU, are working on the transformation of 13 ferry crossings to modern bridges. The 13 cable ferry crossings are Sumbuya, Matrujon, Jendema, Manua, Manawa, Komrabai, Chompare, Mabanta, Yebele, Kaba, Bantoro, Masimra, and Ribi. The EU will only fund the feasibility studies of six, whilst the World Bank will fund the feasibility studies of seven with the aim of constructing four of these ferries to bridges. Feeder roads. Feeder road works are ongoing nationwide. SCADEP is rehabilitating 142 kilometers of feeder roads in Potloko, Tronkolili, Kono, Kailahu, Moyamba, and Bont districts. NAXA is rehabilitating 91.9 kilometers of feeder roads in Koinadugu, Falaba, Kono, and Kailahu. In 2020, Roads Maintenance Fund, RMFA, maintenanced through the 21 local councils 183.9 kilometers of feeder roads. The ministry, in collaboration with SLRA, supervised SCADEP funded feeder roads in Kono, Tonkolili, and Moyamba districts and observed that these contractors are far behind schedule, especially the one in Moyamba. The company's name is God With Us. Obviously, feeder road works being constructed today are far better than those of the past, as they are constantly being monitored and supervised, and we are obliging companies to comply with the SLRA specifications. Road Investment Engagement or Conference. The Ministry, in collaboration with SLRA, MOPED, MOF, OPII, RMFA, are working on a road investment conference for the month of April 2021. 15 strategic roads have been selected on which feasibility studies have been completed with detailed engineering designs and cost estimates. The 15 strategic roads proposed per region are as follows. Northern region. Kabala Falaba Guinea border and Falaba Krubola Yengema road. Kambia, Tompare, Kamakwe, and Madina, Kukuna, Guinea border road. Mile 91, Rubol Junction Road. Kabata Junction, Bat Kanu, Mateboy, Foreloko Road. Makakura, Alkalia, Yifin, Sumbaria, Mashingbi Road. Petifu Junction, Kalangba Junction, Barbara Road. Southern Region. Bo Yile Matutuka Road. Sungu Junction, Moyamba. Moyamba Bangbatoke Junction, Niti, 
Mukaba Matru John Road, Matru Road. Blama Koribondo, Sumuya Tomabom, and Sumuya Tesana Road. Pujaun Gonda P Road, Eastern Region. Sefadu Kamiendo Guinea Border Road. Mano Junction Tongo Field Bumpe Road. Kenema Zimi Road. Kwendu Gandohun, Bunumbu Manoa, Tondola, and Manola Manoa Pendembu Road. A committee was set up to study the various financing models excluding the issuance of sovereign guarantees. I want to repeat this, it's very important. A committee was set up to study the various financing models excluding the issuance of sovereign guarantees. Our government is not giving sovereign guarantees, but we are ready to engage with contractors on models that are comfortable to us based on a kind of win-win agreement. MOPED, together with MOF, will take the lead in organizing the conference, mm -hmm. which will be followed by a series of engagements with investors. Mm -hmm. I wish to inform you also that NPPA has given the approval of SLRA, mm -hmm. approval to SL SLRA to contract the maintenance of trunk roads across the country. In conclusion, I want to again inform all that the reconstruction of the Savage Street Bridge sub-project was completed within three months as promised. The contractor refinanced the project amounting to 9 billion 55 million 536 million 62 cents. And the Minister of Finance is now working on payments. Finally, in infrastructural development, our government is focused on delivery based on quality, value for money, and timely implementation. I want to underline the word value for money. Roads that cost a million dollars will not say they cost four or five million dollars. On that note, I want to thank you for your attention.